you know, this is a sample of a copy of an Equifax um, credit report in my hand. It lists social security numbers, address, credit history, debts, all the sort of personal financial information. It's the lifeblood of Equifax, right? I mean, this, these data points are really, really important to what you do as a company. Congressman, that's correct. Um, it's a $3 billion company, data on 820 million customers worldwide, and yet it appears this breach happened because the company didn't know it was running soft, certain software on its system, right? The Apache Strut software that had the patch requirement. Yeah, Congressman, as I alluded to in my opening comments and the recent written uh, testimony, uh, there was a human error and a technology error that did not allow us to identify. And I think that's software. what we're, we're trying to get to here. Um, if I understand it right, your own information technology system did not tell the Equifax Security Division that the Apache Strut software, which contained the vulnerability that led to this breach, was running on the Equifax system. How did that happen? Uh, Congressman, the, the day after the notification came out from CERTS, uh, the security team uh, notified uh, a wide range of people in the technology team who were responsible for then right. finding the patch, finding the vulnerability, applying the patch, uh, and then days later, as is typical protocol, to deploy a technology scanner to then go look for the vulnerability find the vulnerability, if it found a vulnerability, it knew it was not patched. Both the human deployment of the patch and the scanning uh, deployment did not work. But the protocol was followed. Okay, so then people ask us, how does that happen? Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.